Closed captioning provided by the UT Haslam College full-time MBA program. Learn, transform, lead. It all starts here. This is it. A passion that knows no equal. For the next 60 minutes, you're tuned to Paul Network coverage of the Tennessee Volunteers. You've got to be a team that's extremely disciplined, loves each other, and plays hard. From the heart and soul of the Volunteers' day, this is Tennessee. Who's taking control? This is the Butch Jones Show. Brought to you by the Vols Throwback Debit Card. Only available from the official Bank of the Vols, First Tennessee. By Dish, tuned in to Vol fans since 2008. By your local Ford dealer. For great offers on Ford F-150, see your local Ford dealer or visit buyfordnow.com. And by Farm Bureau Insurance. With agents in more communities than any other insurer, Tennessee turns to Farm Bureau Insurance, the official insurance of the Vols. College football season has finally arrived for the Tennessee Volunteers. Sunday afternoon, Tennessee heads to Atlanta to get set for Monday night's kickoff against Georgia Tech. And, Coach, I know you're excited about getting this thing started. Well, very excited and really excited to really find out about our football team. And when you're playing a competitive opponent like Georgia Tech, we're going to find out in a hurry. And then, obviously, the discipline to execute for over 60 minutes of football with their offense, defense, and special teams and their scheme and the many challenges that present your football team along with very capable and very good players to go along with that scheme. It's been a long camp. You've been in camp since July now, so talk about the preparation and keep this team fresh and ready to go Monday night. Well, it's all about your preparation and also being fresh for this football game and not only physically but mentally as well. And uh, within the long training camp, though, they had one full day off and then we'd actually take another day during the course of the week and we would just work the mind mental conditioning in terms of, you know, plays and walkthroughs and then just lifting. So they've had a physical break from training camp and obviously being in game week mode this week. But again, a lot of unknowns. You really find out about your first you know your team at the onset and again this is a football team uh, that comes out and we're going to have to start fast because if you look at their productivity over a number of years their greatest rushing output output has been in the first quarter and the fourth quarter so we have to do a great job of really uh making the in-game adjustments that we need, the overall communicative process, and then understanding the dynamics of the game because our possessions on offense will be limited. With this long camp, you've had your share of nicks and bruises, so you're trying to get everybody healthy for Monday night. Well, we have, and we actually did a study the other day preparing this past camp to the previous year's camps, and we've actually had less injuries. We've uh, more than doubled uh, in terms of taking care of our bodies, we have very little soft tissue issues in terms of pulled hamstrings, pulled quads. So that's been very, very positive. Very unfortunate about Darren Kirkland. Uh, anytime you, you miss one of your key components on defense, but we've kind of been through there, done that. And we have a lot of players that have gained significant repetitions over a number of years. And we're still waiting on word on Darren. It could be a positive in terms of we could have him back in three to four weeks, but we're kind of waiting on the final conclusion of his surgery. Quarterback race has also been interesting and it's still going on. It's still going on and no matter who the quarterback is, whether it's Quentin Dormady or Jared Garantano, we know that we need two quality quarterbacks in the Southeastern Conference and we have great, great confidence in both and uh, they'll compete all the way to pregame warmups and I, I just think that's very healthy uh, and again, Whoever it is, they're going to be making their first career start. A lot of times, if you announce who that starter is, they have a few days to digest it, let the nerves kick in, and then, as we know, it becomes the talk around town and kind of takes away from the football game. So, uh, again, they kind of have an idea what's going on, but, again, we want them to continue to compete. Could you play both of them Monday night? That's a possibility. We'll see how the game, you know, every game you script it to go one way, but as we it all know, it, it never goes <laughs> that way. You know, football's made up a sudden change. But, uh, again, you possibly could see both. And their confidence level right now, you, you said it's very high. They've really been competing all camp long. Well, they have, and uh, they've done a good job of managing 
our offense, and they're very, very capable. And the way I look at it is, you know, it's whoever goes out there on the on the first snap. And, you know, just like not the quarterback position, but across the board, the way I look at, like, the safety position, we have three starters at the safety position. And uh, we have to stay fresh, and we have to maintain that through a long course of the season. You know, the other thing that goes into it is we have three games in 13 days. So, again, it's the maturity of this football team. How do we take care of ourselves? We've done some things to actually adjust after the game in Atlanta, but we'll actually get treatments and cold tubs before we ever board the plane to come back. But we have to focus on the task at hand, and that's playing winning football to beat a Georgia Tech football team. Monday night in Atlanta, Tennessee, and Georgia Tech. It's an 8 o'clock kickoff. We'll talk more about it and also ask the coach next here on the Butch Jones Show. This is how the balls pitch in. Being a volunteer at Tennessee goes beyond football. Members of Team 121 give back to the community off the field that supports them on the field. Players helped in building a home with Habitat for Humanity. Instead of helmets and pads, it was hard hats and tool belts for the balls. Long snapper Riley Lovingood was one of the balls to pitch in. We get the opportunity to give resources, money, uh, ability, physical needs. I mean, come out and help people, so it's awesome. Pitch in and do your part to make Neyland Stadium a zero waste facility. Sponsored by Eastman, Food City, and Waste Connections. Promote sustainability at Tennessee. Good sports always recycle. Excellence is a journey that you choose to take. It's a choice to be the academic medical center in the region. It's a focus on not asking what's next, but discovering it. Excellence is having physicians on the cutting edge of medicine, training future generations of physicians. The University of Tennessee Medical Center. Wisdom for your life. First Tennessee is the official bank of the Vols. They have backed us, they've been extremely supportive, and I'm very proud to be partners with them as we continue to venture on this journey brick by brick. They are Tennessee. They're what this great state has been built upon. People, customer service, innovation, passion, and constant never-ending improvement. Based in Tennessee, they give their all for Tennessee each and every day. There's only one official bank of the Vols, and that's First Tennessee. Excuse me. What if I sit here? Not if you want your phone to work. Let me guess. Can't live stream your lobster roll? And my mobile pay isn't connecting, and I just got an unlimited plan. Right plan, wrong network. You see, Verizon is America's largest, most reliable 4G LTE network. And now, unlimited plans start at $40 per line. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> oh, this is your seat. Definitely. Yeah, just tucking it in. No, I wasn't going to pull it out. When it really, really matters, you need the best network and the best unlimited. Now plans start at $40 per line for four lines. Southland Band now is concluding its pregame performance here on Shields Watkins Field. And now the Tennessee Volunteers are massing in the North Tunnel. There's emotion and passion. You can tell it. The tee opens, and now the emotion and passion of the fans comes to the forefront as the Tennessee Volunteers come running through the tee. Farm Bureau Insurance is proud to be the official insurance of the Vols. And it's football time in Tennessee. We are tethered by a legacy of fierce ambition and fearless optimism. And this, this is our time, our moment to be who we dare to become. We are the volunteers, so we give our all. Now let the game begin. Here's to building champions. Now get 10,837 in total savings on F-150. See your local Ford dealer today. He'll answer. 
This is Ask the Coach, presented by Academy Sports and Outdoors. Get your officially licensed Tennessee gear at Academy Sports and Outdoors, proud corporate sponsor of the Vols. Coach, the question is from Bill Goodwin, and he said, which freshmen have impressed you the most so far in camp? Well, I tell you what, Bill, this entire freshman class have really, has really been impressive, and I think it's really our most complete recruiting class from top to bottom. And when you look at kind of a class of how heralded, you know, individuals are in each recruiting class, that's, you know, this is the most complete class we've had. But there's a number of individuals that we're going to rely on, uh, not just Monday night, but throughout the course of the season from, you know, when you look at Ty Chandler, Sean Schamberger, Will Ignat, Trey Smith, the number one player in the country. Theo Jackson, Josh Palmer will be making his first career start at the wide receiver position for us. Tim Jordan, DeAndre Johnson, Brent Samaglia is still competing uh, for kicking time with Aaron Medley. So again, this is the most complete class that we've had. I'm excited to see when you have a scoreboard out there and everything's for real now, how they compete. But our older players have really done a good job of mentoring the younger players to date as well. Talk about Trey Smith. He's a guy that just stepped right in. Uh, is, looks like a veteran in the offensive line. How hard of an adjustment is that? And he makes it look pretty easy. He does, but he's still a true freshman. And sometimes we have to remind ourselves of that. And we have to be very cautious and not put too much on his plate at, a, at one point in time because he is a true freshman. But he's one of the most mature young men at his age I've ever been a part of. Uh, he comes to work every single day. Uh, he's a leader. And uh, obviously he plays with great, great toughness. And I think he's really helped the over overall demeanor of that offensive line room and again he's another true freshman that'll be making his first career start Monday night. Let's talk about defensively in the defensive line you lose a lot of talent from last year you got a bunch of young guys guys been waiting in the wings like Daryl Taylor and now they go up against a very tough offense to stop so what's the the key you think on Monday night for that defensive line to play well. First of all, depth and uh, obviously a different scheme, the ability to defeat the cut block, to take it on, understand the different schemes. The cut schemes. block means you're going at their knees. They're going to come ankles. off the ball and they run off the ball and they try to take your knees out. And it's, it's very uh, different than what we see uh, throughout the course of the year, but we've worked exceptionally hard of it. And part of it is a mentality to take it on and defeat the cut block, and they're very good at it. And the, their offensive line, meaning Georgia Tech, is the strength of their football team. But we're going to need depth there. and. Uh, just the ability to, to have discipline in your technique, read your keys. We use the term see a little, see a lot. And what that means is you have to do your job. If your job is to tackle the dive, you have to tackle the dive. You can't worry about the quarterback keeping the ball or who the running back is in pitch phase. If you have to tackle the dive, that's your one job and you have to execute that. And you need turnovers against these guys. We need turnovers and we have to take take care of the football and offense, obviously. Coach, an exciting opener on Monday night against Georgia Tech. Best of luck. We'll see you in Atlanta. Looking forward to seeing you in Atlanta, Bob. Coach Butch Jones will talk to the coordinators next here on the Butch Jones Show. It's time to honor the Tennessee Vol Scholar of the Week. Brought to you by the University of Tennessee College of Pharmacy. Serving the entire volunteer state with campuses in Knoxville, Nashville, and Memphis. This week, we recognize Colton Jumper as our Vol Scholar of the Week. Colton's major is finance and he is on track to graduate this December. He spent his time studying abroad in Spain this past summer. Colton is a 2017-2018 Vol Scholar and finished the 2017 spring semester with a 3.07 GPA, making him our Vol Scholar of the Week. Touching hands, reaching out. Touching me, touching you, sweet Caroline. Ba, ba, ba. Good times never seem so good. So good! So good! Make your commute a little sweeter in the newly redesigned Hyundai Sonata, our best Sonata ever. There's people who care where I'm going. And good friends who welcome me home. So get a full tank of freedom. Drive the American road. And with a full tank of freedom, find your own highway. We'll take you wherever you go. Take you wherever you go. All clear. The closet. 
Nothing here. What about under the bed? No monsters. Good job. Arming today. Thanks, Daddy. Get a complete system free, including the in-touch doorbell camera and touch screen door lock. My CPI keeps the scaries away. Make CPI yours. From hard work, humble beginnings, and the red clay of Tennessee, greatness is built brick by brick. This is Coach Philip Fulmer. General Shell and I are proud supporters of Tennessee football. The Butch Jones Show is being brought to you by UT Medical Center, the official health care provider of the Vols. UT Medical Center, the region's academic medical center. By the natural gas utilities and pipeline companies in Tennessee. Natural gas. By Verizon, the best network with the best unlimited. Verizon, official wireless provider of the Tennessee Volunteers. And by Food City, the tailgating capital of Big Orange Country and proud sponsor of UT Athletics. Food City, value every day. Welcome back to the Butch Jones Show. Tennessee's got a new look on offense this year with Larry Scott, who's the new offensive coordinator, but you're a veteran of the staff. You were here last year, so you know exactly how Coach Jones wants the offense to run. Yeah, you know, having a chance to be around here uh, last year and, and just kind of learn the overall philosophy of, of how we play football as a, as a program as a whole uh, has lended, you know, to um, – bleeding over into us doing some of the things that we're doing now because we just understand where we want to go. But you still want to put a Larry Scott stamp on this offense a little bit too. And what would that be? <laughs> I think from from just the very simple things of just toughness, physical toughness, physicality, um, the understanding of, of really what this game's still about. It's still about blocking, running, you know, for defense tackling. So just good old fashioned blue collar. Uh, come to work every day, bring your lunch pail, uh, toughness. But to run the ball and be tough, you got to have a tough offensive line, and you've yeah. gone through a lot of injuries so far in camp. Yeah. How is your offensive line going into the game Monday night? Well, that's uh, that, that's where it always starts. It starts up front, especially uh, in, in this league. It's a line of scrimmage league in the SEC. So uh, you want to make sure that those guys have the right mindset and the mentality uh, that you want. And the only way to get that a lot of times is just through you know, continuity and continuous reps. Um, and, and unfortunately, we've had a few uh, you know days here and had a few guys down uh, with some minor injuries, and we're starting to put all those pieces back together and then start to draw on, on some, of that, some of that continuity. So um, with that, though, it's given us an opportunity to have some guys take some, you know, a lot of reps and, and, and play multiple positions and continue to build our depth that way as well. So um, with every situation, there's always a positive and silver lining. You just have to find it. Um, and that's what we've been doing this camp. And now that we're starting to get some of those pieces back together, uh, it's going to be fun here over the next few days to bring it all to uh, bring it all together, put a bow on it and go down to Atlanta and tee it up. When you're playing so fast as Tennessee likes to play you need more than five offensive linemen so being able to work a lot of guys in camp has really been beneficial I think yeah that's that's where the, the, the positive in it has been uh, some, some young guys and, and then putting guys and playing them at different positions some things that they may have uh, not been very familiar with which you know presented a challenge which you know got their focus and attention to detail and those type of things so we we're able to create you know some competition you know, through that as well Everybody wants to know about the quarterback, and it's been a battle all the way up to kickoff time, isn't it? Yeah, and it's continuing to be a battle. You know, we're in the game week now, and we're still, you know, watching that and letting it develop and, and go all the way through. And when it's time to know, we'll know. Will you have specific packages for each one of the quarterbacks, though? Well, everything you do in, in football, you, you want to also, you know, highlight guys' strengths. Uh, and what they bring to the table and what they do very well. So obviously some of that, you know, will be a little bit different as far as, um, you know, who's, who's the quarterback and how we're doing and what we're doing. But uh, for the most part, the uh, base and foundation of our offense is the same no matter who's on the center. One thing you know for sure is John Kelly – wants the football and John Kelly will run hard when he gets the football. Yeah, John Kelly is the you know same guy every day. Every time you put the ball down, it's time to compete. You know what you're getting. Uh, so we and he tells you that every day, right? Uh, more than once. <laughs> more than once. Uh, so uh, we kind of know what we're getting there. And, and John, and that's when he's at his best, when it's time to line it up and play. So we're excited to see what he brings. To Have the you table seen right a guy now. lately in your career that wants to play football more than John Kelly? Uh, 
It's amazing. You know? it, is, Every day it, is, practice, it is amazing. He, he would goes. definitely fit right into that top tier of a, the few guys that I've been around that uh, the same guy every day has the same energy level and charisma and excitement when it comes to competing. All right. Behind him, you got a lot of young guys. Yeah. yeah promising yeah, yeah. young guys. Yeah. Very, very excited about it. Uh, you know, it, it, that, that's the beautiful thing about college football. You know, you, you, you hopefully you're going out and around the country and you're recruiting some of the most talented, you know, guys and people and players that you can. Uh, so for those guys to be able to have an opportunity now to come in and, and be in a position where, you know, the, the, the leading back right now is a senior, I mean, a, an older guy and has been in the program. Uh, but to have ample opportunity to get out there and show what they have to compete uh, is an exciting, it's exciting for them, it's exciting for their families, and it's exciting for us. So we're really looking forward to seeing these young guys play. Still looking for playmakers at wide receiver, though. You got a lot of guys got opportunities to play, but you got to yeah. now when the lights come on. Again, you know, you lose a Josh Malone and, and those guys out on the, the perimeter, uh, older guys. It's another opportunity for a young guy to step up. And, and with the wide receiver position, you really never find that out until you actually start to play some football. Uh, and they, they, they flash. They do things in one-on-one -on -one situations and drill situations and, you know, in some of your scrimmages and stuff like that. But until the lights turn on and that ball's in the air, then you'll find out what you got. So it, it's, it's going to be a fact-finding mission for us as well Monday night. It will be in a lot of spots on the yeah, offense. Yeah, absolutely. Larry, thanks for your time. Good luck Monday night against All right, guys. Thank you for Georgia having me. Tech. Larry Scott, Tennessee's offensive coordinator. When we come back, we'll talk defense with defensive coordinator Bob Shoup. You're never too young to be a VFL. Sign up for the Junior Vols Club. For more information or to sign up for Junior Vols, visit utsports.com. Presented by the Knoxville Orthopedic Clinic. Proudly serving the University of Tennessee Athletic Department since 1949. The games are starting. Which one do you want to watch? Oh, how should I know? Could you help guys, me out here? What? Guys, may I? Yeah. Dish has something for this. Whoa. Oh, wow. Tennessee games real close. Switch to that. No, 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 no. We can give you all of them. <gasps> Look. Oh, <laughs> that is great. <laughs> we got to do this again tomorrow. Dish has the most college football with the SEC, Big Ten, Pac-12, and Longhorn Networks. And don't forget Sunday. Sign up now and get NFL Red Zone from NFL Network included at no extra charge. Dish, tuned into you. What's your definition of fresh? At Food City, ours starts every morning as our certified butchers hand cut everything you see behind the counter fresh that day. Fresh also means our beef is ground in the store several times a day. Time stamped with the hour it was ground. That's a fresh guarantee. The fact is, it just doesn't get any fresher than this. That's why we say start fresh with Food City. Before you try a hot pepper challenge, try Kino to go instead. Simply visit any Tennessee Lottery retailer, choose how many numbers to play, pick your lucky numbers, select your play amount, and decide how many drawings to enter. Then watch drawings on your phone, tablet, or computer to see if you're a winner. Kino to go from the Tennessee Lottery. <laughs> we are tethered by a legacy of fierce ambition and fearless optimism. And this, this is our time our moment to be who we dare to become. We are the volunteers, so we give our all. Now let the game begin. Here's to building champions. Now get 10,837 in total savings on F-150. See your local Ford dealer today. You are the man of the hour, the king of the castle. Your subjects look upon you in awe and anticipation because you're about to make their culinary dreams come true. Guess you should have had natural gas. Tennessee fans, gear up for Team 121 with the official 2017 Tennessee Football Fan Shirt. On sale now at Vol Shops on campus. Down the field shirts are also available at participating fan shops across the state. Let's go down the field with Team 121, presented by Dish.
Monday night, Tennessee has the challenge going up against Georgia Tech in Atlanta, and we're now joined by Tennessee defensive coordinator Bob Shoup. Challenge against the Yellow Jackets, just their scheme, right? Uh, it's a great opportunity for our student athletes on opening night in a, the center stage of college football, and, and it's yeah, the scheme's unusual because you don't play against it every week. Everybody talks about being assignment football, but you know it's assignment football whether you're playing the spread. It's assignment football whether you're playing two back run, more traditional offense. And uh, and we've spent a great deal of time in the winter, spring, summer, and now in training camp getting ready for these guys. So I think we're very excited. Coach, this is your second year at Tennessee. Uh, is the system now fully put in? Do you think the guys are more comfortable with your terminology and how you want to play? It's it's been night and day. You know from. From returning from the, the great bowl win against Nebraska, right after that, our players jumped right in. We had a great winter program, spent a lot of time in the offseason, you know, cr trying to develop the relationship piece, really get into each individual player, how I, how I or our staff can help them develop as a player and as a person. You know, spring ball was about fundamentals and techniques. This summer, Rock and his staff did a great job helping our players get stronger and better condition, and, and this camp's really gone very, very smoothly. We've, we've been much more consistently playing our style of play. It's not been up and down and up and down. It's been, you know, we've, we haven't always executed perfectly, but our style of play has been there on a more consistent basis. So I'm really looking forward to Monday night. You have had to replace a lot of talent in that defensive front. How has that gone? And I guess the healthier defensive front too. Yeah, you know, uh, you know, we, like anybody at this time of year, we, we've got to stay healthy. Uh, but I'm really looking forward to watching these guys play Monday night. I mean, at the defensive end position, you know, Jonathan Kongbo, Daryl Taylor, and, and Kyle Phillips have all had really good camps. Uh, and inside, uh, you know, Kendall Vickers is kind of the undisputed leader of the group. He's the, the old veteran who kind of holds the group together. But he and Khalil McKenzie, Quay Paku, Alexis Johnson have all had really good camps. So um, those guys are going to have a great challenge Monday night. And as you know, throughout the course of the SEC season, uh, but they've practiced really well and are looking forward to this season. Linebacking core, uh, of course, the injury to Darren Kirkland is a setback, but the other guy's got to step up. That's the way it goes. I mean, I feel bad for DK. Uh, he really put a great deal of time and effort into this offseason. And, uh, you know, you saw in the bowl game when he was back and healthy last year, you know, he was the straw that stirred the drink. But I think the, the staff and uh, his teammates have a great deal of confidence in Colton Jumper. Uh, he's played a lot of big games for us. People often forget that he was the middle linebacker when he beat Florida or Georgia last mm -hmm. year and, yeah. and played darn well. Um, you know, Cortez McDowell at, one of the will, at the will linebacker has had a good camp and has played a lot of football for us. Uh, Austin Smith at the Sam linebackers played a lot of football for us. Um, glad to have him back. He missed all of last year, obviously, but he's had a good camp. And he has a, a lot of different roles, whether we're in nickel, base, or our dime package. He's done a, a lot of different things. And, and just, you know, guys who have had really solid camps, I'd add in that group at linebacker, Corte Sapp has come a long way. Elliot Berry has come a long way. Uh, of the younger guys, Will Ignant uh, has been a guy that's kind of emerged and made an impression on our staff. And, uh, and, and I'm quite sure that Dylan Bates is going to have a role as well. You know, you mentioned all the depth there. I mean, the linebacker, that's a good thing to have. In the secondary, you got a mixture of some good veterans returning and some young guys that have really had good camps. I agree with that. Uh, you know, at the corner position, there's probably not a player in our program that's improved as much as Justin Martin in the last eight months as a person and as a football player. Just, uh, you know, I don't want to say changed his lifestyle, but he, he's, he's more focused. And, Taking it more serious? I don't even know if it's that. He's just more focused. And, and it's like, you know, I, I've really enjoyed spending time and, and helping Justin, and he's really emerged as a, as a leader. Uh, Manuel Mosley. Uh, is one of the undisputed leaders of the defense and does a great job uh, with the secondary kind of he's very composed kind of a quiet leader. Uh, we, we got the veteran Shaq Wiggins um, who's a transfer almost like signing an NFL free agent. He's come in and provide will provide depth and the competition is right there for that fourth corner position. You know uh, uh, two guys who've played a lot for us in the past Balin Buchanan and Marquel Osborne and they're being pushed by a freshman Sean Schamberger who's come in and really you know played well in in practice on a consistent basis, and every time we've been in a scrimmage situation, has done well. Uh, at the safety, you know, everybody says, well, who's going to start? Who's going to do this? I really feel like we have three starting safeties. I mean, between Micah Abernathy, Todd Kelly, you know, they've played a lot of football and, and made a lot of big plays for Tennessee over the last few years. And Nigel Warrior is a, a really unique talent who's had a really good camp. And a lot like Jonathan Combo has, has got, kind of taken the experiences that he had last year and, and grown as a man and grown as a football player and taken it to the next level and has been a very consistent performer this, this camp. Uh, the other two guys will probably play a fair amount of safety are, are Evan Berry, who when healthy is 
as explosive an athlete as we have on the team. And uh, a freshman named Theo Jackson, uh, who's from Nashville, who uh, has really kind of been the surprise of the camp on the defensive side. I'm not sure that a lot of people, we might have had him penciled in as a redshirt candidate, but he's put himself in a position and shown time and time again that it's not too big for him. Well, a challenge coming up on Monday night, but I know your team is ready to play, and uh, you're excited about finally playing a game. I'm really excited. You know, and as I said, I mean, it's been a long time coming, and, and when you play the triple option, we spent some time in the winter. We spent some time in spring football. We spent some time over the summer and in training camp getting ahead of the game, and, and it is assignment football. I joked about that before, but our players, I think we have a good plan. Our, the new coaches on our staff and the coaches on the defensive side have done a great job implementing that plan. Our players have embraced it. It's all about IDing formations. It's about beating blocks, staying on your feet because they do a lot of low blocking. It's about pursuing the football gang tackling and, and trying to create turnovers for our offense. Coach, thanks. We'll see you Monday night. Good luck. Thanks, Bob. Bob Shoup, Tennessee defensive coordinator. When we come back, we'll take a look at a key member of the Tennessee defense, Kendall Vickers. Yeah, we're, we're all juiced, uh, juiced up, ready to go, you know. Uh, camp was long with the new rule change, and we got a lot of a lot of work done. The, you know, we, we stayed healthy for the most part. You know, excluding a, you know a few injuries here and there, but we got we got a lot better as a football team. Um, a lot more time for those young guys that weren't here for spring to uh, become accustomed to college football. So, uh, yeah, everybody on the on the team uh, from you know all levels, managers all the way up to coaches, and, and definitely the players are excited for this game. And we're going to go out and give everything we got. I've said this a lot. They know a lot more what they're doing than we know what they're doing. So uh, we've had to prepare for it for a long time. Um, we're still preparing for it, and um, we'll be preparing for it until you know, until game time. So it gives us a, a slight advantage in that. It's been a long, long time since I, since we had the, the opener. So I, I can't say that I remember exactly how I felt previously. But right now, how I feel is, it's, I feel great. You know, especially we. Coach said we had two days off, you know, the past, not yesterday, but the day, two days before, and came back and got that lift, and I know personally that I just felt ready to go. I, I, don't, I don't think I could feel any better going into week one. Well, Coach Jones has spent a lot of time with the defense uh, you know, this whole camp, and just trying to make a, get us prepared for, you know, all the cut blocking they do. Um, like I said, it's, it's hard to, you know, defend for it. But we got to be ready for it, and he's been pressing that on, on us, um, getting the scout team guys to cut, up, cut us, um, giving you, giving out rewards for you know cut blocks during practice and stuff like that. So, um, like I said, we're we're getting ready for it, and we we will be ready for it. The biggest thing from being experienced and, and being a leader on the offense is to you kind of got to know what what those guys are struggling with. You know, if they're a little bit nervous about the environment or just the fact that they're playing, you know, they're starting their first SEC game uh, or first college game. Um, and I, I went through the same thing, you know, and it, it, it kind of, you, you just got to take a step back and, and realize what you're doing and that it is amazing that you're playing in this big dome and it kind of resembles the Bristol game last year. You know, just take a quick second to take it all in, but then you got to get laser focused and, and uh, just kind of block out all the, all the white noise there. And we understand as players that we have to make every single play in order to be great. So uh, I definitely think that we've got some play, playmakers all around the field. At Nissan, we surprised fans with this award-winning lineup. And enjoy, Marcus Allen. All right, let's go do it. Then, they experienced Nissan's award-winning lineup. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah. Stop for it. That's incredible. It's Nissan's bottom line model year end event. Lease the Rogue family starting at just $159 per month or save up to $10,760 on select models. It's a Nissan, proud partner of the Tennessee Volunteers. Go, go. So the crowd of the Southland Band now is concluding its pregame here on Shields Watkins Field. And now the Tennessee Volunteers are massing in the North Tunnel. There's emotion and passion. You can tell it. The tee opens, and now the emotion and passion of the fans comes to the forefront as the Tennessee Volunteers come running through the tee. Farm Bureau Insurance is proud to be the official insurance of the Vols. And it's football time in Tennessee. 
Technology affects us on a daily basis, no matter what we have to do. So when it comes to our banking, everything has to be fast and convenient. For a coach on the go or a family on the go, First Tennessee is the name to know for online banking and mobile banking. And I couldn't forget my big orange debit card. It's with me all the time. And when I pull that out of my wallet, I'm very proud to show the Power T. You'll find the Power T at First Tennessee. Excellence is finding ways to solve new challenges. It's one of the reasons we created our six centers of excellence. Physicians from different disciplines working together to provide better solutions for you. It's a collaborative effort that pushes us to be our best and to provide you with the best care possible. Excellence is a journey that we take every day. The University of Tennessee Medical Center. Wisdom for your life. The Vol Network now turns the spotlight on Team 121. Brought to you by Hyundai. Proud supporter of college football and loyal fans everywhere. Vic is a, he's a very encouraging guy. I mean, he's been here, this is his fifth year. I call him Grandpa Vic, actually. He's kind of like the wise guru of the group. I mellow everybody out because I, we're the craziest on, on the team as a group. Like, it's by far the craziest. Yo! Yo! Grandpa Vic, better known as Kendall Vickers, is the leader amongst the lively defensive line. This title did not come easily. I came in here at 2.30 and uh, defensive end transitioned into a, a three technique that's 295 pounds. It's, it was definitely a process, but uh, I'm here in my fifth year now and, uh, as a senior and it's, it's, been, it's been a fun ride. Switching positions, gaining 65 pounds, and racking up 38 tackles last season was possible due to how he was raised. I was a military kid growing up, so dad was in the military and, you know, my mom was, was, was real strict too and, you know, nothing was ever given to me. You know, I always had to earn everything I got. The military kid has grown up to be a reliable teammate. He always knows his place. He's always going to be in the right gap, you know. Um, when you don't know something, you can look over and Vic's going to give you the answer you need. His fellow defensive linemen are some of his biggest fans, and they're ready to watch him go out and leave nothing behind in his last season. I think he's capable of a lot of things. I think he's going to have a monster season. I mean, I think he's been undershadowed because we had such great de uh, defensive linemen coming through these last few years, but I think it's Vic's time to shine. I think he's going to execute. The young Vic would tell the now grandpa Vic this. Enjoy it, play for your teammates, play for your family, play for your coaches. You can go out there and do what you love to do uh, every day and just be a leader on and off the field. For UTSports.com, I'm Maddie Glass. I'm the neighbor with the orange tractor. I mow, I grow, and care for this place I call home. I'm always on the move, getting work done, because I want to be the best version of me. Right now, Get a Kubota L-Series tractor and take advantage of low-rate, long-term financing. This is why I do it. Kubota. Kubota is a proud corporate sponsor of Tennessee football. Visit us at TennesseeKubotaDealers.com. One Tennessee. One sustainable goal. Zero waste in Neyland Stadium. No sort recycling. Now, zero excuses. Made possible by Eastman, Food City, and Waste Connections. No sort makes it easy to be a good sport. Tackle sustainability. At Tennessee, good sports always recycle. At Farm Bureau Health Plans, you may have heard us say, we've got you covered. What does gotcha mean? It means no matter who you are. Or what age. Whether you just need coverage for one. Or for you, your wife, or kids. You've got choices for great health plans. And Medicare supplements. All our plans have options. With different levels of coverage. And deductibles and co-payments. Mom, can I get covered? Of course. <laughs> have questions? Visit fbhealthplans.com or your local Farm Bureau office. We've got you covered. We are tethered by a legacy of fierce ambition and fearless optimism. And this, this is our time, our moment to be who we dare to become. We are the volunteers. 
so we give our all. Now let the game begin. Here's to building champions. Now get 10,837 in total savings on F-150. See your local Ford dealer today. Come on. Excuse me, mind if I sit here? Not if you want your phone to work. Let me guess, can't live stream your lobster roll? And my mobile pay isn't connecting and I just got an unlimited plan. Right plan, wrong network. You see, Verizon is America's largest, most reliable 4G LTE network. And now, unlimited plans start at $40 per line. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> oh, this is your seat. Definitely. Yep, just tucking it in. No, I wasn't going to pull it out. When it really, really matters, you need the best network and the best unlimited. Now plans start at $40 per line for four lines. Butch Jones Show is being brought to you by Hyundai. Proud supporter of college football and loyal fans everywhere. By Eastman Chemical Company. Promoting sustainability. Remember, good sports always recycle. And by Farm Bureau Health Plans. When the best offense is a good defense, protect your savings from the high cost of medical services with quality coverage from Farm Bureau Health Plans. This is Exact Science, brought to you by Humana, your partner in health. It's important to have color on your plate because foods that are darker in color have higher antioxidant and nutrient content. So you'll often hear the example that iceberg lettuce versus romaine lettuce is not as healthy because it's kind of white and not very dense in nutrients, whereas darker lettuce like romaine um, is high nutrient content. So it's very important to our players to get antioxidants, put dark, green leafy vegetables on their plate and brightly colored fruits and vegetables so that they're recovering and able to get the nutrients they need to stay healthy. Welcome back to the Butch Jones Show. There are new faces in the Tennessee coaching staff this season. One of those is quarterback coach Mike Canales. He's got the big job of breaking in a new starting quarterback. And here's a look at the Tennessee quarterback coach. Every rep is a game rep. Make it game rep. Make it a game rep. Don't lose a, rate, a rep or waste a rep. Every rep you got chances to get better. Push yourself. Be game ready. That's it right there. Good, JG. Read it, read it, read it. Nice. That's it, that's it. I like it. I like the movement. Change your platform. Roll it in the hash. Boom. All right, back. Here we go. Feet. Back. Up. Back. Up. Go. Get out, get out, get out and go. I want you to come out of it on the run. Come out of it on the run, okay? I want you to like, when I say out, come out on the run. This is a roller coaster ride of emotions with playing the quarterback position. It's gonna be up some days, it's gonna be bad some days. It's gonna happen. You gotta ride it, no matter what. If it's down, you gotta make it get back up. If it's going up, you gotta keep it going up, right? It's about how you handle the situation. Obviously, we want a young man with a strong arm and ability to escape and extend plays. Those things stand out. But he's got to be able to communicate you know, to the offensive line and then to signal to where to the outside receivers or tight ends or backs and be able to get them in a position where they need to be. And then being able to control at the line of schedule. Signal, communication, scan the defense, checklist, and then execute, repeat. And they got to be able to feel it and go, OK, this is the tempo the coach wants. We're going to push at that pace. That's it. That's it. Quick, 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 quick. What you got? What you got? What you got? What you got? I think Temple's thing, it's, a, it's an equalizer for, the deep, for us as an offense on the defense, is being able to get them out of position when we can, and then getting our chance for our, our guys to be able to get the play out quick, call it from the sideline, execute it, and move to the next play, and try to keep the defense from getting in a rhythm. Because when you sit back on your heels and they're able to make their calls and their blitzes and make their adjustments, you know, it, it, it'll, it'll hinder your offense. So that's kind of been the equalizer we've seen over the last, what, five to 10 years now of the, of the tempo offense and people going fast at NASCAR pace. And it gives the offense a chance to be able to make plays. Somebody gets tired on defense, not rushing as hard, so you're able to hold the ball a little bit longer. Those things allow for explosive plays and big plays. Got a baby, good timing! Here we go. On the clock, go. Quick, 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 quick. There you go. Good eyes, good vision, good ball placement. Pick a spot. Hit that spot. Create it, create it. You saw it on film, create it. Create it, create the awkward throw. A lot of them come in and they want to watch themselves first, or they want to watch the quarterback, or they want to watch the play. And my big thing is if you're not flipping the film back and forth at least six to seven times, 
you're going too fast, so slow down. You know, look at the formation, and then look at the defensive structure, and then run the play. Okay, you've enjoyed watching the play, now go back and see, okay, what's the box count? Okay, where's the secondary? Where's the free safety? Where's the best hit safety? And then read the backside triangle, and then go to the front side linebacker, you know, so all those different things to the front, over, under, bare, odd, you know, being able to process that in seven seconds is fast, because that's what I expect it to happen. I want to be able to scan, be able to look at, communicate, make the change if they have to in terms of protection, and then be able to go out next. Good. So those are things that we push through on film as you start to study, and what are we looking for? What's the weakness of the defense in this coverage? What's the weakness in the defense if they're in this type of box structure, if we're running a quarterback run game? Who's, in, who's the read key in the pass game? Who, who's the movement key? All those things have to come into play, so as they start to do it, we see formations. I tell them a lot of times when you're watching college games or NFL games, put yourself in that formation. Call the defensive front. Call the secondary. That's it right there. Good, Ben. See the matchup. Find the matchup. Good job. Here we go, JG. All right, here we go. Change the platform. Awkward throws. Change the platform. Spread it out. Get some more. Get some room. Those things stand out, but it's the ability to get your teammates to play for you, get your teammates to believe in who you are as a leader and trust in you, and I think trust is a big part of the quarterback position. But having that mental toughness and that grit in the pocket, being able to stand there and know I'm going to make that play for you, and the ability to go make plays. Got a baby way to stay in there. Showing some grit. I like it. My favorite drill. Come on, come on. Got a baby. Good stuff. Don't be common, be uncommon, be different. Set ourselves different, QB's work, the motto, keep it going. So we're doing everything the right way. Every little drill that we're going through is not just, to just because we want to, it's because of the purpose behind it. Everything is structured so it carries over into a game-like situation. So every time you get in the field, pocket reset, pocket presence, all the things that we're doing, there's a reason behind it. Keep it going, right? QB's work on two. One, two. QB's work. Fans, tune in every Monday night from 8 to 9 p.m. for the Big Orange Hotline. Join Bob Kessling and Pat Ryan as they break down each and every Tennessee football game. That's the Big Orange Hotline, every Monday night live from Dead End Barbecue in West Knoxville. sweeter in the newly redesigned Hyundai Sonata, our best Sonata ever. Tomorrow's fuel is here today, at home in abundance. America's natural gas is cleaner, more reliable, more affordable, and more efficient, delivering greater stability and dependability with lower costs and emissions. Contact your local natural gas provider to look closer at a versatile resource that can serve your family and community for generations to come. Excellence is a journey that you choose to take. It's a choice to be the academic medical center in the region. It's a focus on not asking what's next, but discovering it. Excellence is having physicians on the cutting edge of medicine, training future generations of physicians. The University of Tennessee Medical Center. Wisdom for your life. Being a First Tennessee customer makes you very, very comfortable and very confident that you're getting the best of the best in terms of customer service, innovation, and updated technologies each and every day. First Tennessee provides everything to be successful in a convenient way, especially with the online banking and the mobile banking. And the most powerful word you can use is trust, and I trust them with all my banking. I tell anyone who wants to bank with the best, follow me to First Tennessee.
to the Film Room with VFL Eric Ainge, presented by Nissan, proud supporter of college athletics. Shop ChooseNissan.com. Take on today. Today we highlight junior running back John Kelly. First play we're going to watch here is a play from this last year's bowl game from the Music City Bowl. John Kelly getting a big touchdown. Dobbs hands the ball to Kelly going left. Kelly gets to the corner, gets to the 20, to the 15, to the 10, to the 5. Touchdown, Tennessee. Great call by Bob. Even better run by John Kelly, though. Let's take a look at this. So right here we have a four down front, two linebacker, double safety look. When you have what's 11 personnel, it's right here. We got Kroom, we got or, or Wolf, three receivers down here, and a running back there in the box. You're looking for a box count run. It's a six-man box. That's what you're trying to get it. That's what they got right here. Great look, good play call. We're running the gap play. You never cut back gap. These are coaching points, but watch John Kelly. This play is designed to go here. We'll watch it. Down set, hut, ball snapped. Okay, they're going to pull the lineman right here. They're going to wrap around for the kickout block and the wraparound block, and John Kelly should be going right through the B gap right there, hitting it 100 miles an hour. But John, take it back to the top here. John does a great job of getting the read and seeing this fast flow linebacker and seeing this defensive end pinch, and he goes and he bounces it almost immediately. See right there, that little hesitation, and then boom, he's off to the races. Great play recognition, great defensive understanding, and really good vision by John Kelly on this run, getting six points. John Kelly, now he shifts to the right. And Dobbs going to hand it to Kelly. Gets a little burst out across the 30 to the 35 and fighting his way out to the 40-yard line. Still on his feet, and finally they stack him up. They still haven't blown the whistle, and they do at the 43-yard line. That John Kelly run should look familiar. It's the same exact play. It's the gap play. Again, we have 11 personnel, three receivers, a tight end, and a running back. This is the H-back, Jason Kroom right here. He's going to go and wrap around for the play side linebacker. We're going to pull a guard and kick out the emol, the in man on the line of scrimmage. Kick it out, wrap around, and hit it 100 miles an hour. This is a really good job by John Kelly, being patient, and then when you hit it, hit it and go. So here we go, ball snap, down set, hut, boom. You'll watch us pull and kick out, wrap for play side. We got the down safety coming down right here. John Kelly does a great job. That's who ends up getting involved in the tackle, and he takes him for a nice little John Kelly sleigh ride right there. But really good run again, kicking out the in man on the line of scrimmage, wrapping for the play side linebacker, and John Kelly understanding his plays, defensive football, and really hitting that thing 100 miles an hour right where he's supposed to. First down, this time they'll try Kelly up the middle, and he burst it, gets to the 40. It's a foot race, and they're not going to catch him. To the 40, to the 30, all the way. John Kelly for a Tennessee touchdown. 73 yards on the sprint right up the middle for the sophomore from Detroit, Michigan. Again, the play should look familiar. Three times, three plays, three gap plays. Now we're playing Tennessee Tech. We're going to wrap around for the play side backer, pull and kick out the in man on the line of scrimmage, and we're going to do it really, really fast. Watch this right here. John Kelly is going to see this cheat, and we call it a trap corner, a blitzing corner up here. Now this safety has to guard the wide receiver. As long as that corner can't come flat down the line of scrimmage and make that tackle, you see it all the time, they trip the running back up right before he can get through. As long as he can make this blitzing corner not tackle him or slow him down, now the safety's out of position because he has to guard the wide receiver. And if we get a hat on a hat on these linebackers, it's off to the races. So this is a perfect play call. Down set, hut, ball snapped. We're going to pull and kick out. We're going to wrap around. Here's the blitzing corner. Good job. High knees, running with high knees through the line of scrimmage. And then John Kelly's off to the races yet again, understanding the gap play, understanding that you don't cut it back. You press it. You bounce if you have to or if you can. And then you see how fast you can run to go score a touchdown. Great blocking by the Tennessee offensive line, wide receivers, H-backs, and again, really good patience and vision by John Kelly. You're watching the Butch Jones Show. We'll be right back. The Butch Jones Show is being brought to you by CPI Security, proud corporate sponsor of the Vols. By Humana, over 50 years of experience in the healthcare industry. Humana, your partner in health by the natural gas utilities and pipeline companies in Tennessee. Natural gas. And by the Tennessee Education Lottery. Proud to have raised over $4 billion to support education programs in Tennessee. We are tethered by a legacy of fierce ambition and fearless optimism. And this, this is our time, our moment to be who we dare to become. We are the volunteers. 
So we give our all. Now let the game begin. Here's to building champions. Now get 10,837 in total savings on F-150. See your local Ford dealer today. win championships first and foremost you have to win with people it's all about an organization it's all about a total commitment just like first tennessee they win with people on a daily basis from the professionalism to the convenience that they provide myself and my family and also just staying up on the top of things the latest trends in banking the customer service the convenience and the passion by which they go by each and every day they understand the volunteer spirit why are the clothes always so damp? Why do they take so long to dry? Because we have an electric dryer. Dad, why is this house so cold? It's electric heat. Just bundle up and go ask your mother. Mom, why is the Go ask your father. Why did this take so long? Why is it dry? Why is it burn? Maybe we should finally switch to natural gas. Finally! Why haven't you switched to natural gas? What's going on? My TV company won't let me watch all my channels live on this, so I'm following the game this way. It's supposed to be the football. It doesn't even look like a football. I know. It's a tiny field. I hate tiny fields. Try this. That's the game. That's Dish. <laughs> Didn't even know my voice could do that. Dish lets you watch 100% of your live channels and sports anywhere on your favorite devices. Dish, tuned into you. Time now for the First Tennessee First Look, a scouting report and look ahead at the Vols' upcoming opponents. Brought to you by First Tennessee, the official bank of the Vols. Tennessee and Georgia Tech Monday night in Atlanta. Like Tennessee, Georgia Tech coming off a 9-4 season. They beat the Kentucky Wildcats 33-18 in the Tax Slayer Bowl to cap off last season. Have 15 starters returning, eight of those on defense, including their entire secondary. They have seven starters on offense returning, but like Tennessee, the uh, Yellow Jackets have to replace their starting quarterback and also their top tailback. The Yellow Jackets have won four straight and six of their last seven games coming into the matchup with Tennessee. They are picked to finish third in the ACC Coastal Division behind Miami and Virginia Tech. As for Tennessee and Georgia Tech, this is the 44th meeting between the schools. The last meeting in 1987, Tennessee won that game 29 to 15. UT is playing for the second time in the Chick-fil-A kickoff game. They played in 2012 and beat NC State in Atlanta 35-21. It's Tennessee and Georgia Tech on Monday night. Thanks for being with us for the Butch Jones Show. Hope to see you in Atlanta on Monday and next week right here on the Butch Jones Show. This has been a presentation of the Vol Network, produced by IMG, the world's premier sports media and entertainment company.